what's good people it's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants no hate so look you know i was watching some videos of people you know everybody's making this big speculation about who anthony joshua is going to fight who tyson fury is going to fight because fury keeps every week he's fighting somebody different <clears throat> or he has some bombshell of news that basically have yet to blow anybody's goddamn socks off look the way i see it it's nothing but speculation first and foremost that's all it is okay for one we're hearing it Anthony Joshua wants to fight in August, then again in December. Okay, here's some common sense. Today is what, June 22nd, so it's late June. <clears throat> okay, for him to fight early August, you want to build up a fight as much as you possibly can, which means if he was to actually, you know, to do that, it would be a stay busy fight. But against who? Okay, so even if it's not the highest of opponents, which we know it wouldn't be, okay? You don't fight an elite fight as a tune-up, but you still want to promote the fight because you want the fight to be successful. You want the fight card overall to be successful. So we don't have a name yet. We heard Dylan White a couple of weeks ago speak with frustration saying that there's no communication with him and Anthony Joshua, so he don't think the fight's going to happen. So we know that it's not Dylan. So, if it was a stay busy fight, just to keep busy, and the thing about Anthony Joshua himself, he always tell you guys, he don't like to take fights if they're not high profile fights. So, even as a stay busy fight, he would already be announcing who's who. So, if he's going to fight in August, I think they would I'd know, you know, that they would already have an opponent. They would have a venue, they would have, because you have to have an undercard, you have to have promotion for the fight. Okay. The way I see it, he's holding out because they're talking about a massive amount of money. I don't know the exact amount. I don't know the dollar amount. I'm just hearing it's a massive amount of money for him and Wilder. Okay. In um, December, everybody's making a big deal about Anthony Joshua fighting when he just fought Franklin. Okay. Um, he fought more recently than Wilder did. And nobody's making that, oh, but Wilder's not in there because everybody has this whole, but, but AJ's not looking the same. And look, I'm going to say it like this. There is no reason, and, and let, me, let me say this, AJ doesn't have a belt. He's not holding up the division. I don't know why everybody's making a big stink about it. There is absolutely no reason for him to do what every fighter is aspiring to do, which is to make a huge payday why would he risk possibly losing that spot by fighting someone that he's not going to really be motivated to fight more than likely if it's a if it's anything less than a high profile fight now if he chose to do it okay that's on him but this is not what fighters get in this business for and in terms of making smart business decisions just the same way Wilder could stand in you he could use the fight as well you don't see Wilder jumping in there against anybody, do you? So, the way I see it, I think he's going to sit it out and wait. And I think that the next time we see Anthony Joshua fight will be in December against Deontay Wilder. In the meantime, why do people act like he's not sparring, he's not training, he's not doing what he's supposed to do? Yeah, I heard a rumor about when he first came to Texas or something about he wouldn't run or spar the first week or some not, whatever. Look, nobody cares about all that. Because if you listen to Derrick James talk now, Derrick James is saying that Anthony Joshua's coming along good. He's learning a lot. So, I, I don't care about all that he said, she said nonsense, okay? And I don't even know where that came from. I just, this, this, these are things that pop up and then I see it. I don't even watch the shit. Because to me, it's just like clickbait. Let's, let's, let's get somebody to, you know, give a shocking type title to get somebody's attention. But I don't think that Anthony Joshua is going to fight in December. I mean, in, in um, August. I think he's going to wait for Wilder in December and get that money in Dubois. And people can sit here and talk all the shit they want. Oh, man, but it's about... Look, stop, stop. Again, he doesn't have a belt, unlike Tyson Fury, who's holding up the holding that WBC belt hostage because he's not getting there in either. He's just talking, 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 right? He lied about sending the contract to Anthony Joshua, all this kind of stuff that's been going on. So that's what I think. 
I, I can't see the point in waiting to the last minute or sometime in July to say, okay, the fight is, and I think I heard somebody say August the 12th or something like that, but regardless to whatever, I, I just don't see the point in waiting until a month before the fight or the month of the fight because, I mean, hell, it's late June now. So I, I just think that what the plans were is not going to happen. Because even when you say Anthony Joshua is going to take a tune-up, who? You know, who? Look at who's out there. Who? Who? What tune-up would you want to see him have? In terms of a tune-up, then you don't really care about the opponent. You just want to see what he can do with the opponent. If it's someone he should get rid of, he should get rid of him. Somebody he shouldn't struggle with, he shouldn't struggle. Handle your business. Go get rid of that guy. So, I don't think he's going to risk that money. You understand what I mean? So, and, and none of these other fighters are. And that's why I'm saying, why are people making such a big deal about AJ not being in the ring? You know, when <clears throat> these other fighters aren't either. Um, you know, in terms of ring rush and all of that, man, that's why you spar. That's why you train. You, you handle ring rust in training camps. I don't know what the hell this generation is made of, but I always hear this ring rust, ring rust. Like, man, yeah, we know the actual fight is more intense than the, act, than the, than the sparring, but you got to get those rounds in. You got to get, I mean, it, it, listen, it's a mental thing. That's all it is. Because we've seen plenty of fighters not fight for a long period of time, get in there and look sharp. Everybody's looking at Anthony Joshua, but yeah, but, 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 you know, he needs more time and I think he should do this and he should do that. Well, it is what it is. But my take is I don't think he's going to fight in August. <clears throat> I think he's going to wait it out. That's what I think. Now, <clears throat> if he was to fight and say September, you know, let's just say if a thing happened with a deal with him and Wilder don't go through for some reason, then he may take a different fight just sometime later. Not, not even so much September, just might take a fight then to stay active because okay well the deal with Wilder is off okay and then in that sense I don't think it would be a tune up he would prepare to fight somebody else but just saying or maybe that date would be say reserved instead of for Wilder and him because we don't know you know things happen things don't happen what kind of card they're trying to put on who they who they want involved on a card it could be a number of things so that's what I think. I'm just saying I don't understand why everybody's making it like it's 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 such like there's no conspiracy, man. It's just people saying this is what I think he should do. Well, how come this is not happening? Well, who's he gonna fight? That it's just people talking. That's it. Just speculating and, and using their imagination. That's all it is. So, you know, like I said, Deontay Wilder. You know, he, he he's not been in the ring since he's fought uh, Hellenius. You know, does does he does 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 Deontay Wilder look like any any difference? No, he just fought a journeyman, knocked him out, and everybody. Oh, one punch. Okay, yeah, whatever. It's Robert Hellenius. You know, that's all. We haven't seen him tested. We haven't seen him fight. He look. He was supposed to fight Andy Ruiz, right? That didn't happen. And they're both PBC. So this is what I'm saying. People are just making a big deal about Anthony Joshua. Who's he fighting in August? Why, why, why are they not doing this? But I thought, and I heard like people, Deontay and, 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 and Ruiz didn't fight. Hell, we heard that Andy Ruiz was supposed to be fighting Tyson Fury. Then Fury claimed, oh, they overpriced themselves. They're moving on. Okay, so who was Fury fighting? Who was he fighting? So, you know, it's not a big thing. But again, my guess is he's not going to fight in August. I think he's just going to wait it out, train. And what what is it hurting? It gives him more time to work with Derrick James. So if anything, it's not hurting him, it's helping him. And this whole time, if he know that that's what he's gearing for, he has more time to sharpen up and do what he has to do. That's all. Not a big thing. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all on the next video.